Now let's take a look at this problem, which is the limit of 1 over x minus 1 over 8 over x minus 8 as x approaches 8. If you plug in x equals 8, you get 0 over 0, and in indeterminate form, we could do a little bit of algebra to do some canceling and do this limit. Um, the trick here is to notice that the top is a difference of two fractions, and you can combine them into one fraction by using a common denominator. So you have 8 over 8x minus x over 8x. This is all over x minus 8. So you get the limit as x approaches 8 of 8 minus x over 8x all over x minus 8. It may help to put the parentheses in here so you know which part of the fraction goes where. And since we're dividing two fractions, we can write this out as 8 minus x over 8x times 1 over x minus 8. Since you're dividing by x minus 8, you're really multiplying by the reciprocal of x minus 8. And here, the 8 minus x and eight's mi x minus 8 cancel out to leave a minus 1 since they're negatives of each other. And so the limit is minus 1 over 8x as x approaches 8. And the answer is minus 1 over 64. Just a quick recap. If you see difference or sums of fractions, one good way to deal with them is to essentially just subtract or add by using a common denominator. And the, by using a common denominator, such as 8x here, you, you can usually create a factor on the top, this 8 minus x, to match up with the factor on the bottom and cancel those things out.